Good morning, good morning, good morning. How's everyone doing this morning? What an awesome morning it is. It is a Friday. We made it. We made it through another week. Tell God thank you. Tell God thank you. We should all wake up and be grateful for another day. And I'm just I'm just excited. I'm just excited about what God is doing in this season. And I'm not going to be, be on here long. But I just want to come and just remind you. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. We don't have to want for nothing because we are children of the king. God is my daddy, and I can go to my daddy and ask him anything I want. And the more that you have a personal relationship with God, the more God will continue to bless you. The more that you lay aside every weight and do what God is telling you to do, the more he will continue to bless you. We don't have to want for nothing. We don't have to worry about anything. Because if you're going to worry, don't pray. And if you're going to pray, don't worry. Because God is not that type of God. He's not the one, not that, that God that will have us worrying about everything. Have us concerned about things that really don't concern us. Because the battle that you are fighting is not your fight. It's the battle belongs to God. It doesn't belong to us. So why do we want to take that, take that hand, take the battle and try to to fight it in our own strength? Give it to God. Let God have his way. Let God have his way with you. Let God have his way with your life. Let God have his way in your ministry, your business, whatever's concerning you, God will perfect it. Whatever's concerning you, God is going to perfect it. You got to be visible. Are you visible or are you invisible? Are you being visible and bold in your ministry, in your business? Or are you listening to what other people say about your business, about your ministry, and you didn't tuck tail and, and, and you ran because somebody didn't say something that that made that tickled your fancy or it made you feel good people are not gonna do that because everybody that that say they walking with you they don't have your best interest at heart they're he, they're there to get exactly what they trying to get from you from your ministry from your business then guess what they're gone to the next person those are called opportunists. When you have people that are around you just to see what they can benefit from you and from your efforts, those are called opportunists. We have to be mindful and aware of those people. Good morning, Tabitha. Beware of those type of people. Everybody that is with you now in 2019 God is shaving your 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 circle. He's moving people out of the way so he can have full reign with you and your destiny. It's all about your destiny. Sometimes you have to have the mindset, I got to fight for my destiny. I have to fight the the naysayers. I have to fight the 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 Debbie Downers. I have to fight the negative people. If you're not speaking life to me, don't speak death. If you don't have, my mother used to say that, if you don't have anything good to say, don't say anything at all. And that's where I am. If I don't have anything good to say, I'm going to pray for you. But I'm not going to I'm not gonna speak ugly against you, ugly about you, because that's not me. That's not what I'm about. I'm about encouraging you. I'm about motivating you. But guess what? Sometimes the encourager needs encouraging. How many of you know that? Sometimes the motivator needs motiva motivating. So when I pour out, I'm encouraging. I'm motivating. Hey, sometimes I, I do motivate myself. I do encourage myself. But the... <clears throat> I'm pouring out. I'm pouring out to other people. And yes, I pour out to myself. But God has to give me another dose of him. Another dose of the encouragement that I give. So I can go on and do my assignment. How many of you know that every one of us has an assignment? All of us have an assignment. Are you doing your assignment? Or are you waiting for someone else to do your assignment? 
God didn't give your assignment to anybody else. He gave it to you. Are you doing your assignment? Or are you waiting for man to give you permission? Man has no authority to give you permission to do an assignment that God has given you. God has given you the assignment, so you do it to the best of your ability. If you don't understand, you go and have a come to Jesus meet, and he'll give you the direction. He'll give you the instructions, and he, he needs you. He wants you to follow his directions. <clears throat> God is ordering each and every one of our steps. Don't resist it. Don't resist what God is telling you. See, I've been at the point in my life. Not really, not really resisting what he's saying, but it's like, okay, God, um, I don't really know how to do that. And he, he had to remind me, if you didn't know how to do it, I wouldn't have given it to you. So I'm coming to tell you, the assignment that God has given you, don't tell him that. Don't tell him you don't know how to do it. Because if he's giving it to you, he's already equipped you with what you need to get it done. So let's get it done, y'all. Let's get it done. We have only a few more days in this year, this century. We moved on. We're moving on forward to the next thing. We're moving on forward to the next century. But guess what? 2020, it got success all over it for you, 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 and you. And I'm not counting me out. Success, the success that you have always desired and wanted, your name is on it. You have to let go of the doubt, the fear, the unbelief, the disbelief. Let it go and just be free to move. Just be free to move when he tell you to move. <laughs> just be free to move. <laughs> you have to have the, gir gi the giraffe mindset and not the turtle. It's okay. You can move slow, but move steady. Keep moving though. Keep striving for your best. Keep striving to move towards your dreams, your visions, and your goals. Keep striving. But as a giraffe, if you have the giraffe mentality, all these people saying you can't, you see further than they do. You see your, your, your vision coming to life. See, I can only tell you about me. I've seen it. God has let me see some things about my vision. So I'm going to keep moving towards that because it's going to happen. It's not happening in my time. If it happened in my time, it would have happened in 15 and 16. But it started manifesting in 19. And I'm, I continue to get excited when and understand that I'm doing the will, doing God's will. When people say, it, 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 they get something out of my lives. Plan your work and work your plan. I saw you said that the other day. Work your plan and plan your work. <laughs> uh, but we have to, and, and we have to plan your work and work your plan. Write it down. I'm begging two and two. Write it down. Write the vision down. Because if you don't write it down, ain't no telling what you're going to be trying to grab for. But if you write it down, you can see it every day. You can say it every day. Say your goals. Look at them two or three times a day. And don't forget the I am statements. Speak those things that are not as they, though they were. I am whatever that is. Whatever comes behind I am, it's going to come chasing you. It's going to come looking for you. So go ahead. Don't be afraid to do the I am's. I am. You are already beautiful. You are already smart. But what else? I am the best-selling author. I am the sought-out motivational speaker. I am the sought-out uh, life coach. I am a woman of God. I am a homeowner. I am. Whatever the I am is to you, you say those on a daily basis. Say them until you believe them. You know, you might be playing with it now. You might be playing, I am, uh-uh. Say it with conviction. Be bold about what you confess into yourself. What you're prophesying to you. Be kept. Be bold. Be bold. Don't be playing with it. Be bold. Speak with authority. Because God, we do have authority. 
Because God is our daddy. Jesus is our brother. We join ass with Jesus. So we have the power. We just have to learn how to use it. We have the power. You have to learn how to tap in. So I'm encouraging you today. Tap into the power that's already within you. Stop standing back back behind everybody else because you don't want to be in the forefront. God is calling you forth. God said, come forth, my daughter, my son. Come forth. Come forth. Get from behind all these other people. I need you to come forth. God said, come forth, my daughter, my son. I don't need you behind. I'm waving out the the the, the, the naysayers, the people that don't need you any good. I'm waving them out. I'm waving them out. I need you to come forth, but I need you to stay focused on me. Stay focused on me. Don't get so tied up and so concerned about what other people are saying and doing, and you can't follow my instructions. You can't listen to me because too many other people are in your ear. Get the people out of your ear. That's called a distraction. We need to listen to God's voice. Listen to what God is telling us. Listen to our instructions so we can be obedient. Obedient to God. And I remember this so vividly uh, in my former church, my grandfather's church, when um, they called the doors uh, 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 devotion and all that now, but he would walk in the pulpit and he said, <laughs> he was saying the kingdom, <clears throat> the kingdom is at hand. And everybody knew that meant, okay, well, it, it's time to start talking. It's time to start talking. We can to start service. So we listened to his instructions. From the moment he said that, we were listening. We were listening. So that meant you be quiet. So when God speaks, we need to be quiet and listen to his instructions. God has told somebody listening to this. He's, told, he's given you a directive, but you haven't listened. You haven't bothered to act upon what he told you. Do it. Act upon what he told you. It's your life, your destiny. He's trying to walk you into the best life you've ever had. But we so stuck on, I, I don't know if I want to do that. He didn't ask you what you wanted to do. He didn't ask you if you know about it. He said, do it. Trust him. Trust God not to lead you down the wrong path. See, that's my daddy. I, I'm going to trust him. My earthly daddy, he could have told me to do anything. And it was going to be, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So why we so, we can't do that with God. God say do and we hesitate. Or we procrastinate. That's a good word. We procrastinate. I do it tomorrow, God. No. If I tell you to do something today, it's for today. It's not for tomorrow. It wasn't for yesterday. Yesterday's instructions was for yesterday. Today's instructions are for today. Tomorrow's instructions are for tomorrow. We're not even there. I need you to follow my instructions today. Be the best you can be. Be the best woman, girl, boy, man that you can be. And put me first. Matthew 6, 33, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and everything else should be added unto you. Everything else will be added unto you. We have to seek God. Seek God first for his guidance, for his, for, for his conversation. Seek God first. Get in his word daily. Talk to him daily. I talk to him three, four, five times a day. Just because I'm thankful that I can go to him. I'm thankful that I have a real relationship. Not nobody else's. I have my own personal relationship. People don't understand. Your relationship is a personal thing. I, my relationship, I can't base it on my parents, my grandparents, my aunts, uncles, sisters, brother. I can't, I can't base my relationship on theirs. I can only base my relationship on me when I labor to God, when I talk to God. Understand that it's personal. It's personal. We have to understand that it's personal. 
a personal relationship. Trust God even when you can't trace it. Have a worship in your spirit. Have a praise on your lips. I will praise the Lord at all times and his praise shall com continually be on my lips. Praise God. Because you could have been dead and buried. You could have been dead and gone. But he saw fit to give you some new grace and new mercy. Y'all be blessed. I love you. Lord, please uh, <clears throat> thank you for allowing us to come before your presence one more time, God. God, we appreciate you just for being God all by yourself. God, allow us to hear your voice, God. Understand that you are the you are not the author of confusion. You you orchestrate good. You orchestrate uh uh, obedience God we love you for it God thank you Lord for allowing me to be your mouthpiece God let me speak to your people the words that you would have me give them God God <clears throat> excuse me uh, I appreciate you, God. We're just thankful for another day of life. We thank you, thank you, thankful for you touching us with your finger of love and saying it's time to wait, baby. You get, you have given us new grace and new mercy, and we want to thank you for it right now, God. God, uh, <clears throat> let send out the angels that are assigned to watch over us, God. That no hurt, harm, or danger will come to us. The devil is it it will not win, cannot win because we are your children, God. Let us walk up right before you because your word says if we walk up right before you, you'll hold no good thing from us. God, we love you right now. We adore you. We give it all over to you, God. We release ourselves and relinquish the whole we have. And we, we are relinquishing everything to you, God. Everything that, that is concerning us, we know that you will perfect it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Y'all be blessed. I love you, love you, love you. We'll talk soon.